So Alan, 40 points to 14 win over Halifax here at the DCBL Stadium. Is that just a perfect example of a game of two halves? Yeah, yeah, we uh, just spoke to, to, to the fellas in there and half time we, we weren't happy, but we had a lot of um, possession. Um, we just didn't execute well enough. Um, I thought it was down on energy. We wasn't intensive. In, we didn't have enough intensity in what we was doing. We got a lot of opportunities, um, but we just we just looked not flat. I shouldn't say flat. We just looked a bit under. So if you're going at 100 mile an hour, we probably looked at 75, 80 percent. But we was effort was there and our energy. But we just we did, we just wasn't 100, 100 mile an hour in, in executing well. So yeah, the, the first half was quite disappointing. But we spoke and said you know we felt as though we shouldn't be behind, but unfortunately it was so. And scored 36 unanswered points in that second half. What would you put that down to? Being really, you know, having a lot of intensity the second half. We, like I said, we just spoke about going out and, and believing in each other. Um, I'll never question this team's effort, never. Um, and we spoke at half time saying this is the first time we've been in this situation against a very good team with some very good individual players. So it's really important we, we show what we're about. You know, let's. You know, unfortunately for us, we're only 10 points behind. Can we turn that? Certainly, of course we can. Um, and we just spoke about going at them 100 mile an hour and all about us. You know, defending as though our, our lives matter. And then as soon as we've got the ball, run, run faster, run quicker. But have that, um, that quality at the back of it. And, and, and I thought we should scored a lot of quality tries today. And after a, a couple of lax tries in that first half, how pleased were you to keep Halifax scoreless in the second? Yeah, it was vital. Um, we want to be that team who doesn't concede more than three tries, and, and, and that's really difficult to do in this competition. But I believe we can we can certainly be there or thereabouts. Um, and I think if, it's important you score tries in this competition, but it's also the tough the tough teams, uh, the good teams tough it out. You know, and you're 14 4 down, and, and then you say against a quality side, you know, we didn't set a target and not them scoring. We set a target of us, us being better. And us being better means us defending better and attacking better. And I thought we were superb second half. And you had Jack Owens in there, who had a very influential game today. How good is it to have your captain leaning from the front like that? Oh, he was superb. Um, he was brilliant last week. Superb again this week. He's just a threat, constant threat. It's like having three half-backs for me and a full-back with him. So he's playing half and full-back. He's just everywhere. He's across the line, he's ducking, he's diving, he's carrying out yardage. He's shown what a captain's all about, you know, and this club should be very proud of, of, of the player he is. And he's one of their own and he's leading this club. He's leading by example and everyone's following his example. And there's plenty of noise from the fans in that second half, just a word on them. Superb, brilliant. And there was one stage where we, we got three tries in five minutes. Uh, I think we scored 14, 16 points and it erupted basically. The volume lifted, everything lifted and the north stand as normal, but the, you loop around the south stand was so energetic and it carries us, you know, and they won't realise how much it carries us and I've set myself a target. I want to I see that north stand, I want to I see it fill. I want to fill that. And that comes from performances and we've got to do our bit. But like I keep saying, you know, it'd be great to see them do their bit and, and get behind us and you'll see effort, you'll always see effort. And, it's vital and next week's a, a massive game and the, they're a massive part of how, how, how the result goes. And you mentioned it there, Featherston away next week, what are your thoughts on that challenge? Excited, looking forward to it, um, going as underdogs just because of who they are and who they've been for the last four or five years in this competition. I know they've had a great win today, but we'll just fix some things up what we're not happy with um, and we'll go with confidence and we'll go with um, the attitude of they've got to beat us. They've got to beat us. They've got to be good to beat us. Um, and I, I've never won there. And there's, there's 10, 11 lads in this team, never won there. But if we do, we want to do it together and with the fans. And hopefully we'll get the result we want.